A lot of people ask, where should I put my garden bed? And I like to use my old teacher Larry Santoyo's advice. The best place for a garden is between your front door and your car door. So that way you'll always see it. Now it's important that even if your plants are looking good, uh, you want to add water every single day because we don't want the reservoir in the bottom to ever run out of water and we want to keep the wicking nature of the soil always happening. So with this type of a gardening system, a wicking bed, you always add water every single day. If you miss a day, that's all right. It's not going to be the end of the world, but it's better just to add a little bit every day. Uh, if you miss one, you could do every other day. That's fine. And in all reality, if you go away for vacation for a week or so, these will be just fine because there's enough water down there for it to continue wicking for a while. But in order to prevent you from uh, worrying about ever forgetting, it's easier just to try to do it every single day. The other nice thing about adding water every day <clears throat> is that it literally tells you how much water is being used up by the plants. In the case of the garden bed with the plastic uh, mulch on top, there's very little evaporation. Now, in this one, there may be some evaporation, but it's still a good estimate. If we have to add more water each day, well, then that, by definition, becomes water that is being used by those plants because the water doesn't go down. It doesn't, it's never lost. And so it can be a nice uh, way to visually understand how much water your plants are using.